Look at that beautiful bowl of salad. Let me show you how we made it. But first, let me introduce my co-chef, Jubilee. She is four years old and she got me out of bed before I was ready this morning. So <laughs> let's move on to the next scene. This is my favorite salad blend ever, 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 ever. Something about that arugula, it just makes me giddy. Like it just kicks up the serotonin like crazy. So I use this about a half a container, chop it up small and um, rinse it. If you've never seen this, it's at Aldi and it's like $2.75 a container. I buy like two containers at a time, but I also mix it with either iceberg or romaine, depending on whatever I have in the fridge at the time. So Juby is just rinsing off the iceberg mixed with the spinach and arugula. My hope is that if she helps me make it, she'll eat it, but I just got her to eat cucumbers last week. <laughs> And that went on and on and on. <laughs> so these are the ingredients that I put on the salad. And you can see it's as is, it's vegan. Um, but I've got the wonton strips, which I don't put on until the very end. As a topping, you can also put peanuts, um, almonds, a little bit of lime. Cilantro is so good on top. But um, th these are like the basic ingredients that I put on. So I've got my red bell pepper. I've got edamame that I've defrosted just in a little bit of warm water. About a half a can of mandarin oranges drained. Um, a mini cucumber. I will um, leave the skin on this one, but if I were using a regular cucumber, I'd probably peel it. A green onion and a purple onion. And I do like the two onion flavors. It just is so good. While Juby played with the spinner, I just chopped everything up really fine. Notice I just used one little side of that bell pepper. And so the rest of the pepper will just go back in the fridge for another use. Um, I like to chop things up small because you get a little bit of everything in every bite and it just makes the salad taste so much better. Now we're going to Move the lettuce into the salad bowl. I love this bowl. Found it at Target, like in one of those little special party sections. It was like three bucks. She did a good job with that. <laughs> and, and then you just arrange everything on the salad. I'm going to wrap it up just like this and put it in my fridge. And when we're ready to eat, I'll take it out, toss it and add my little um, wonton strips, cilantro if I can find it. And let me show you my favorite dressing. Mmm, this bad boy is so good. I also like the Kraft Toasted Asian Sesame, but I haven't been able to find it. If you are, um, if you can't find this, or if you know you wanna use something uh, more natural, go for rice wine vinegar and a sesame oil, go for some lime juice. You don't really need much because the salad already has so much flavor, but this bad boy is just so good. Another way you can make this salad, boil some spaghetti noodles and um, put it in place of, a, of the lettuce and make like a pasta salad with all those ingredients. And oh man, you know, my kids kind of turn up their nose when I make it, but they never turn it down. You can also add um, rotisserie chicken or cook up some chicken breast, some beef and cut it into some chunks or strips. Like this thing is just so, 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 so good. Yeah, you gotta try it. Uh, <sighs> manners. We'll be working on manners, but she's enjoying herself here with those <laughs> mandarin oranges. So at least I'm getting a little vitamin C in her body, right? Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you another time with another recipe. Bye-bye.